In this video, I'll show you how to take any photo and steal the colors to put in your own photos. Very sneaky. <laughs> Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along, I've left a download link to both of the photos in the video description. To start, have your photo open and then go to the swatches panel. From here, we'll create a new swatch of colors using our other colorful picture. So go ahead and click on this hamburger menu and then go down to where it says create palette from image. From here, click on select image and then navigate to that colorful picture and select it and open it. This will automatically create a palette of five colors that are taken from this picture. But for this particular technique, I only want to use three colors. So I'll just type three and then press enter down here. And then you can press preview to see those three colors. There they are. I'll just press create. And now you can see we have new colors here. If your colors look very small, Go to the hamburger menu and then just go down to appearance and change it to large. That way we can really see all of these colors. Okay, so now that we've stolen these colors, we can apply them to our photo using a special adjustment layer. We're going to use the gradient map adjustment for this. This is sort of a crazy adjustment when you first apply it. But what it's doing is it's applying colors to the shadows, midtones, and highlights. I'm going to select this shadows color. I'll go to where it says color and I'll click. Then using this color picker, I'm going to sample the darkest color of our three colors, which in this case is this blue color. These are arranged from light to dark. So now that I have the darkest color selected, I'll click on it to apply it, and now it's applied to our shadows. I'll repeat this process, clicking on the midtones, clicking on color, and then sampling that middle color and applying it. And I'll just do this one last time for the highlights. All right, we now have the colors applied to our photo. To help them blend better, there's a few blend modes we can use to make this look nice. My favorites are overlay and soft light. Soft light is really pretty and subtle, but overlay gives you a little bit more of the colors. So just for this case, so we can really see the difference, I'll go with overlay. And then I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit, just so it's a little less intense. And now we can go ahead and do any finishing touches we want to finish up this look. First, we can go ahead and paint to remove this color anywhere where we think it might look a little strange. For example, these colors might be making her teeth look a little bit too yellow. So I'm going to grab the paintbrush and I'll paint with a nice low flow right over her teeth. I'll use the bracket keys on my keyboard to make my brush smaller. Then I'll paint in black paint right over her teeth. And another thing you can do is you can make your brush nice and large. And again, with a low flow, we can just click once to dab this color off of her skin if it looks a little too intense. And last, one thing that I've noticed with this technique is that sometimes it adds a little too much contrast to our picture. To reduce contrast, we can apply a curves adjustment. And then we can just raise the shadow node a little bit. And we can lower the highlights node to darken the highlights. I'll just show you this. Here's the before and after of reducing the contrast. And then I'll select both of the layers by holding shift and clicking. And then you can see the complete before and after. And there we have it. 
we've stolen the colors, and our photo looks so much warmer and nicer now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.